Disable Automatic Maintenance in Windows 8. I'm running a few VMS, and suddenly I noticed my CPU fan was spinning louder than usual. I tracked it down to Windows 8 doing some automatic maintenance. How can I turn this completely off? I found a way to set the time, but not a way to turn it off completely. You can do it by task scheduler. For this open the task scheduler by typing task on the modern UI under the apps and you will find the task scheduler at the left side click it and open. Now go to following path. Task Scheduler and GT, Microsoft and GT, Windows and GT, Task Scheduler. Here you have to right click on the idle maintenance and AMP, regular maintenance and select the option disable, that's it. If you want to enable it again then just do the reverse. The automatic maintenance task is a built-in scheduled task, but if you think you can just open task scheduler as an administrator and disable it you're wrong. It will just re-enable itself on server 2012, as at Abstrast pointed out. You'll need to use the Sexic utility, sysinternals, together with tasks.x, and you need to run the command as system. Use the following command. In my scenario, I was testing this on my Hyper-V host, so I simply skipped the backslash server name switch. Automatic maintenance does too many functions, like the updating of Windows software etc. so that turning it totally off is not advisable or possible. To complete the answer by Henkel, one could at least disable it from waking your PC. This is done in Action Center, Maintenance section, Change Maintenance Settings, Uncheck Allow Scheduled Maintenance to wake up my computer. Together with setting the scheduled time to late at night or a time that it won't be a bother, 3 a.m. is the default is about the maximum possible solution. While you can disable the idle maintenance and maintenance configurator tasks, under backslash Microsoft backslash Windows backslash task scheduler, they will get re-enabled by the maintenance configurator task, which by default runs at 1 o'clock every day. In addition, it has two custom triggers, which cannot be viewed or edited using the task scheduler console. Even as an admin, you don't have permission to disable the maintenance configurator task, though I haven't tried any tricks to do so, if Microsoft has gone through these lengths to prevent you from disabling it, it's probably a bad idea to do. The relatively clean way I found to disable idle and regular maintenance, that seems to still work after the maintenance configurator task has run, is to disable the triggers of the idle maintenance and maintenance configurator tasks. The task will remain enabled, but with triggers disabled, it won't actually start. My answer is based on Windows Server 2012, which also has this feature. I'm assuming it's set up the same way. Correct if I'm wrong. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing.